Hello guys, um, today I want to do something different, something handy with what I usually do and welcome you all to Esiwakago YouTube channel and I want to do something crafty here. Um, I just received this um, high chair for my Mr. Kaman. <laughs> because i am getting tired of washing clothes full of stains and he even makes my clothes to have stains because i feed him while i hold him and sometimes it's very hard to get to feed him with his full concentration because the minute i hold him like this he thinks he's supposed to be breastfeeding so yeah and i thought to solve this once and for all and i went for this um high chair i don't know if you can see the brand and how it's supposed to be at the end of this video it's supposed to look like that i have never done this type of a thing before but you know what betty az told me i have to learn how to do simple some basic things uh, by myself without thinking like every time I need something to be fixed I need to look for a handyman or someone else to come and do it for me so I think I am ready to learn and I have never done this before so guys stay here with me until I finish it I don't know how it is done but I'm gonna read the manual so that I'll be able to assemble it so yes that is what we're gonna be doing nick 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 come get me scissors 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 you better stop joking go get me scissors i didn't say knife So I'll start of course by unboxing it. Most of the time when I get stuff like this, the person who does them for me is my son. But I want to learn and get to know how to do things because I know it's not magic. I'm pretty sure it's nothing to do with magic so i'm gonna do it we can do all things yes we can do all things through christ who strengthens us and this is how it's boxed like this these are all the parts that i i will need yep yep this is oops this is kind of like the table where the mr kaman will be feeding from um right here so i put it aside and these are supposed to be the legs <laughs> Woo. yeah and there are four of them i might keep them in here to stop messing up my place so that it doesn't become so much hard for me i don't know what these are i'll find out as i move on and this i believe is for what locking here i would think it's for locking him i am not sure we're gonna find out and did i tell you the name of the the name of the the brand name is infatino in Fettino, so and this is the last part and this has now the seat where he's supposed to be sitting on and he has to be buckled and this is the this is the base and this is the yay you, you see how beautiful it's gonna look like once i'm done okay uh-huh so now 
the most important stuff in everything new i'm gonna get a pillow because it's super hard for me to to nail on the bare floor and since it's gonna take me some few minutes i better use a pillow so um this is the most important thing that you could ever miss in any new um, item that you buy that needs to be assembled why this will direct you how to do it so we were not there when they made this uh, chair high chair so we can only know how to assemble it through this manual here and yeah it is called it is a four in one convertible high chair four in one convertible high chair and it means it has four in one and let's go about it this, this is an extra this is uh, an extra seat belt yeah so let's get rolling and i'm gonna do away with the box so let's see first things first um we're supposed to start with the what let me see so they have uh, the instructions here and i should be able to follow them um yeah we have to do this assembly so i will go to where they say assembly high chair which is this page and i'm gonna start guy i better not um this is done in i'm looking for the one that is done in english because i need to read as well as see i cannot just do any language i i better see what they mean um and the first page assembly okay um hmm. right here i'm gonna use the first page that says assembly high chair and yes i think i must start with i must start with this yes and they say i should bring this okay let me put that there down and yeah now this is supposed to go up is it okay mm -hmm. my friends this is not easy but i will try to make it work so this looks like it's supposed to get in there okay i hope it doesn't have no so that part is solved Hey! Yay! Yeah, I'm done on that part. And the next thing I'm supposed to do, I'm supposed to join the poles. These poles, you see them? These ones. All these together, uh, depending on how high I want to be and so i believe i'm supposed to start by getting them out like this mm -hmm. so i get them out mm, i like using scissors not to waste a lot of time so and so they are wrapped individually and just get them out like this. they look like this and all of them 
there we go and they have numbers if you can read that it's called it's written as d1 and a1 c1 and b1 meaning all these since they have letters you're supposed to match the letters to the other poles so the letters are supposed to match with what is in here and they all go at the bottom of this i'll show you let's first do first thing first and there we go so we have this as day two and what i will do is d1 must match with d2 so this is supposed to be the base of the of the pole so i'm gonna just um in d1 we have this button this one so this is what you get into d2 just like this and for it to get in you have to push it like that and then you just click it in you see number one so you get to c1 c2 and just get to do the same thing uh, you get it right in and click it yay i'm a genius today i feel like a genius today so and then you go to this is the top one this is the bottom one b2 and b1 you click them in like a pro yeah make sure you click them in like a pro. so um and then you go to d i mean a1 and a2 a1 and a2 and what you need to do is yeah do the same thing you push this inside and click it like a plow like that so we got all of them what we need to do next is to you see here you see they have one two three and four so now the work is to get them in here and they have numbers as well they have numbers as well this is c this is d this is b and this is a so you won't have to struggle with anything you will just take the c and ding um b mm, and c ding and a so let's do it guys i told you i have never done this before so this is a so a goes to a no shortcut so a goes to a and i hope you guys can see i need you to see i need you to see so yeah a goes to a and let me see because i don't want to do it how how i think i know it's supposed to go all the way down and it clicks yeah like a pro you see yeah this has to click for there are two of these you have to push one inside and then it clicks here and this click clicks automatically the first one touches here so we're gonna do that uh, with the rest this is c i take the c and i click it just like a plow just like a plow yeah and we work on the fourth one this is b is this b this is d so this is a d we put it inside just like that we push this all the way so that it can click king like a plow and 
we do the same with this one so you have to align everything with here they have to align and yeah we clicked so we have this now so far so far so good excuse my working area it looks so messed up but you know what when you are making something you have to mess up so this is product registration for safety alert or recall only in case this thing gives you any issue or it does something or drops your child and you fix it the right way you can call them and maybe get them to pay your or oh, that's a helpline so these are to buckle your child whenever they are in here no child should be in here and they are not buckled because you see the height if they drop it gonna make them to injure their uh, body parts if not their uh, brain if they hit the floor with your hand and so I'm not yet done but you see you see something is coming up huh how do you see it something is coming up and I like the look I like the colors and the next thing is installing this um, this mr. Kamondos mr. commands oh sorry so I think I'll start by putting this back the way it should be and it's not that bad you just fix it like this and it's in and then the next thing that i might want to do is to make sure this goes in right here let me show you you see this you see this area this is where it's supposed to click in and that is what i'll be working on right now so they have this these are supposed to click in so um for them sorry for them to fit i need to push it away like this and then it's gonna click it so i'll start by doing that and then i'll fix the table the tray because it keeps on misbehaving for me so i prefer working on this first oops yes it is in you see it is now in it can't move it's secured and the next part that i'm gonna do is this and this is not a big deal my friends this is not nothing big deal you just put it here and it's supposed to stick there and this is something removable you can put the juice there some food here and you can wash it you can clean it for them with this final part of this um and it's supposed to go in here i almost forgot it i just found it when i was um almost finishing i mean cleaning up the area so this has this and it's supposed to clip in here and it's the same thing the way you see it here it is what is there so this goes here for him to support himself and it just clicks in that much easily like that and this is the final final product that i was working on and doesn't it look lovely doesn't it so yeah i didn't use none of these tools i didn't need them little did i know i didn't need any of the tools they have made this very very easy for you to assemble it without using no single tool so thanks to the company that um made this uh the company can use zoom it in uh it's in fatiro um and they have good product i like them and it was easy for me to assemble them and yeah we come to the end of the video and 
yeah now i'll just clean up the place and i'm all set to go my son now has a high chair where he can eat from without messing on my clothes no more messing clothes hmm. okay. reason as to why i chose this infantino um high chair is because the way it is made it won't have to give me a lot of uh, troubles when it comes to wiping and cleaning this is something made of material that you can just wipe off and just get going you can even disinfect it because it's not like a fabric this is something made of this is a rubber and where he sits it's kind of like a rubber you can always um wipe it off whenever he makes he makes a mess so that is the number one thing that made me to buy this in you know, um high chair the number two thing i think it's kind of like the colors the, the the make and everything is just like incredible when it comes to kids stuff you see it's well designed for its purpose and number three thing i think it's kind of like very very sturdy and it's gonna look good on my baby and so guys there it is it was my first time project to assemble something and i did it right the way they have shown it here and as he grows i will end up with these three i will have like three like you can use it in three ways you can use it as a reclinable high chair like this uh, I hope you can see it and you can use it as infant uh, booster you can put it on another chair and he can sit there you just remove this I mean take this off and just leave the poles and again it can be a toddler booster when he grows up past one year and two years he can use it on the dining table together with us and lastly and not least uh he can also use it as a chair like when he grows up he can use it as a chair to maybe read uh, while seated there all i would have to do is to remove the tray and stuff and he will be left with um, this part as a chair and it's gonna look it's it gonna still look good so those were the reasons as to why i went for this for this it is called a four-in-one convertible high chair uh, made by made by infertile infertile so um up to this point guys i'll see you on the next video and keep on subscribing keep on sharing and keep on commenting i like seeing your comments and they make me feel good to see that there are people there who watch my stuff and I'll see you when you see me. Do not forget to keep on keeping on. That is the motto of this channel of Esiwakago. Bye bye and God bless you.